Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and my new series, Gaming on Sunday Morning. Which is where every single Sunday morning, just like today, I'm going to be playing a game with you guys. I know I usually say it's a new game, but you guys have actually requested me to play some old games. And with the Steam Summer Sale underway, I figured I'd play some Fallout 4 because I actually just picked this up on the Steam Summer Sale. And we're going to jump into the Steam Store page real quickly. But before that, I'm sipping on just a normal cup of joe. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. And yeah, let's go back to the Steam sale real quick. Now, I've picked up a few games so far, but I actually have intentions on buying some more. So, I would probably assume that I'm going to be playing some older games from for maybe the next couple weeks. But if something cool comes out, I'll check it out. Obviously, I have my mind on a couple. But yeah, let's go to the store page real quickly for Fallout 4. It's actually on sale for 50% off for the summer sale down to 15 bucks. It's also a part of... A couple bundles and whatnot. This isn't going to be a, a huge review or anything. Fallout 4 has been out since November 10th of 2015. So I don't really need to go too in depth on what it is. It is from Bethesda. If you've played any game from Bethesda. Such as Skyrim, Oblivion, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. You're going to know what Fallout 4 is. And you're going to know how it plays. So for the user reviews. People are obviously mostly positive. Uh, it's a great game so far. Um, I'm only like five hours in, but just so you guys know, for system requirements, you need an Intel Core i5-2300 or, for recommended, an i7-4790, which is what I have, and a GTX 550 Ti for minimum and a GTX 780 for recommended. So those are some pretty beefy specs, and for good reason. Um, there is, I'm pretty sure this wasn't available when it first came out, the high resolution texture pack. It says it was released February 6th of 2017, which is pretty recently. I actually have this installed and the game looks pretty good. We're going to jump back in here and uh, here you'll see that like the graphics of this game, although not like super, super good, like, I mean, they're pretty solid. I'm actually a huge fan of the graphics. Look at the detail on the gun there. Right now, I'm running in 1440p and ultra. Um, I was running at high on my GTX 980 because I wanted to get those higher frame rates on my 144 hertz monitor. Speaking of which, make sure you go check out. I think it's going to be in this corner. Yeah, maybe this corner. Check out my review of this 1440p 144 hertz free sync monitor. But yeah, so this is Fallout 4. Like I said, I'm not going to do a crazy review. I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. Um, it's a first person. You can actually play it third person. But I'm pretty sure it's meant to be first person. It's a first person open world RPG. If you've played Skyrim, I would definitely relate it to that. Although, but this is the time frame of post-nuclear war. And it's more about guns and stuff. Not about like spells and swords and whatnot. Um, you have this Pip-Boy here which is the classic Pip-Boy. It's like this like palm pilot type thing you wear on your arm. And you go through like your inventory, your stats, your perks, like you level up, you gain um, stats and uh, uh, different skills and stuff like that. The cool thing that Fallout, now I've actually not been, I haven't been a huge fan of Fallout and I'm gonna tell you why. I hate the VATS system. Now what is VATS? You can normally play this game, run it around, and shoot and stuff, just like this. I'll go try and find something while I'm talking. But the VAT system, if you hold Q here, it slows it down, and then you can aim for, like, let's say if this was a monster, you could aim and, like, just literally click headshot, just like that. Like, this Codsworth is actually, like, my robot dude. But then you just click on left eye, and then they'll automatically shoot on their to their left eye. I hate this. I hate VATs. I've never been a Fallout fan specifically because of that. I rather have the challenge of walking around, running, and aiming, and actually killing things. Now, I'm going to try and find something. We'll go across this bridge here. But yeah, so the reason why I picked up Fallout, which I definitely would not have picked up if it wasn't for this little quick tip that I found from a random reviewer, is just don't play with bats. Now, you can't disable it as far as I'm aware of. But I have never used it. What I just showed you there was the second time I ever even clicked that button. The first time was right before this video just to make sure that it worked and it was the letter Q. 
But yeah, I'm just not a fan. Now, you can't just unlimited just keep hitting headshots. You do have action points, so they'll regenerate, and you can only use a certain amount and whatnot. But I'm just, like, there's... In all Fallout games, there'll be heavy, intense combat, and then you'll just hit the VATS button, it'll slow down, then you just hit headshot, and then you're good to go. I, it just not, It's not challenging enough to me, so I've been playing this entire game, which is like, I've only been in it for like five hours or so, and I've been playing without VATS, and it's extremely fun, but it's, it's actually pretty difficult, and despite me just being on normal mode, I believe, but yeah, I've already cleared out some of these towns, so... I'm going to show you what fast travel looks like. There is fast travel, which I know a lot of you are turned off by. But these are the locations that I've already seen so far. We will go down to Backstreet Apparel, I believe. Yeah, we'll go here. Uh, in order to fast travel, you already have to have been there one time, which isn't a big deal. Um, I haven't discovered any type of mounts in this game, which I'm not sure if there is. Whenever I play these type of games, I try and do my best to not look up guides for it because then it just spoils it. I like to discover things on my own, and I love that feeling when you've been playing a game for like 20 hours, and then you realize like, wow, I could have been just doing this the whole time. So there could be mounts. There. You could be able to drive these cars. I have no idea, but I, I like having a fresh slate for some games. Now, if it's like a multiplayer competitive game, I'm going to do my research, but if it's just a game like this, I like to discover it. So... Uh, another thing that I'm really having fun with is all the different weapons. If you go into my inventory here, you can see like I've already unlocked a crap ton of, mus of guns. Some of them are like the short laser musket, the short hunting rifle, assault rifle, uh, institute rifle, which is like a laser rifle and stuff like that. One thing I am struggling with though is ammo. Like as you can see, I only have two ammo left and boom, that's the end of that. So I have a whole bunch of pistols here. I like the accessibility of the guns. You can favorite them and then just like that you can see that I have like some rifles for one through three. I have some different types of pistols, seven through nine. I have my health thing, the stim pack at zero, and then a melee weapon here at four. So yeah, I really like that part. Uh, what else is there to show you? There's a dog companion called Dog Me, and you can command him to follow you. I really like how He'll randomly kind of wander just a little bit and then he'll say dog meat has found something and usually it's something good like uh, um, like some health packs or stuff like that so that's pretty cool. Um, I, I'm really trying to find some people here but like I don't know where the enemies are. Like I said I've only been playing this game for like five hours. One thing that I will criticize this game on is the tutorial which there barely is one. It's not like a super super in-depth game but uh the, there's a lot that's not explained that I wish they would have like this the main one is base building and that's something else I have to show you all right so let's get out of here we're not really finding anything so we're gonna fast travel back to sanctuary which is like the main town your first main town where you can build stuff in now I don't believe that there was ever base building in any other fallout game so this is pretty new and this is probably what's going to keep me coming back to the game. Now, there is, like, the story mode and whatnot. There's a bunch of side missions. I've been doing Minutemen side missions, which is kind of like uh, like mercenary-type deals where we're just killing uh, different camps, taking over camps, and building more settlements. I really like that. But the base building is something really cool, and it's kind of like... It reminds me of Ark Survival, where you, you have to go around and actually pick up uh, resources now in this game you're salvaging like a bunch of junk like if I go into the building mode like I can just look at this mailbox and scrap it and boom I got six steel there so yeah with these materials you can build a crap ton of stuff and it's awesome like this is a building this is a guard tower that I built now I was just messing around if you go online you can see a bunch of huge created uh, like bases from other users and it's pretty insane actually um, this is kind of like what I started working on this is literally just like a slab of concrete and then a bunch of steel walls here but if you go into the structures here you can go wood metal doors fences and look like there's a a bunch of different stuff that you can build which I wasn't expecting this in the fallout game I knew that there was base building but like you build generators and 
like route power lines. You can build radio towers to recruit settlers. Speaking of settlers, up at the top of the screen there, you can see that I have people, food, water, power, defense, beds, and happiness. It's like a little city city builder type game. And I, as you can see from the stats, I haven't experienced it too much, but like it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. You can open up stores and like uh, hospital, like mini hospital clinics and stuff like that. You just have to recruit settlers and then you assign the settlers to work them places. If you've played the mobile game Fallout Shelter, which is free on Steam now and like Android and iOS, I believe, it's just like that, but you're playing on top of this first person uh, role playing game. So it's like two games in one, and I'm really having a fi um, I'm really having fun with it. That's really the only thing I've been researching on YouTube. Uh, I've been just looking at other people's created bases, and they look awesome. And then Fallout 4 also has mods, which is just ridiculous. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can craft. I'm only five hours in. I'm going to keep playing this game for a while. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update this week on what I'm playing. This is the Steam Summer Sale pickup number one. I only I only bought one other game so far. But uh, yeah, Fallout 4. Definitely expect to see this on the channel more. I actually just posted it on my weekly download uh, episode number 50. Can't believe we're on 50 episodes, but that's my weekly tech and PC gaming news series for those of you that don't know. And in that uh, video, you'll see a bunch of better footage of Fallout 4 of me actually killing people and not just walking around scared. talking to these guys like that. But uh, that just reminded me real quick. I did want to mention real quickly that I'm not a big fan of Pip-Boy. I already explained what it is, but I'm really not a fan of it. I don't like that it kind of pauses the game and then I can select my weapons. Like if I'm getting attacked and then I go to my Pip-Boy, I can just take my sweet time figure out, oh, I want to use this weapon and whatnot. I want to use these items to heal me. I don't like that at all. Uh, it's kind of like the VAT system. I think it makes it too easy. But uh, anyway, I digress from that. I guess that's just a style of game. It's meant to be a little bit easier, but you can ramp up the difficulty or you can be like me and just not play with the VATs. So yeah, that's going to wrap up Fallout 4. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel and as always thank you for watching and please subscribe for more zach's tech turf videos